So this is uh, topic 10, and let's talk about doing arithmetic with complex numbers that are in cis form. So first thing we'll do is we'll do some multiplication. So z1 times z2. These are both complex numbers. I'm going to multiply them together. Um, now, when you multiply in cis form, you can multiply the magnitudes, and you can add the angles. And we talked about that in class, like why that, why that is, why that works out that way. So 3 times 81, I'm just grabbing my calculator here, is a 243. And then 133 plus 76 is 209. So multiplying in cis form is really easy. Um, you could multiply those magnitudes and add those angles. Now how about dividing? How about if I went something like Z2 divided by Z1? Um, similarly, you can divide the magnitudes and you can then subtract the angles. Because uh, remember, multiplying by an angle is a rotation. So that's why we're adding these and subtracting those. And so dividing is a, is a subtraction. So 81 divided by 3, that's a 27. And then I have this uh, 76 minus 133. And that's a, a negative 57. And I could, I could leave it as negative 57 degrees if I wanted to. I like to leave them positive. I'm just going to add it to 360, uh, 3, 303. Either one of those angles. Either one of these answers work for me. All right, how about taking it to a power? How about I take a Z1 to the third power? Now, power is just repeated multiplication. So if I were to multiply Z1 by itself three times, I would, I would have these three of these threes multiplied together. So basically, I can just take uh, three to the third power. And then I would have three of these angles added together. So I could just go three times that. So let's see where we end up. That's a 27. This uh, 3 times 133 is uh, 399. And that's bigger than 360. So I'm going to subtract 360 from it. it. It'll be something that terminates in the same location, but it'll be in, uh, you know, between negative 360 and 360. Just easier to read. So there's that one to the third power. So let's take a root. Let's take the fourth root, say, of Z2. So the fourth root is the same as... as uh, the one-fourth power. So I could take this, this number in cis form and take it to the one-fourth power. And then basically I can do the same thing that I did here. It's just an exponent. So 81 to the one-fourth power, or the fourth root of 81. Then I have cis uh, one-fourth of 76 degrees. But 76 degrees could come out of these other, like I could have these other rotations just adding 360 to, to 76, k is just going to be 1, 2, 3, et cetera. Um, so 76 plus 360, 76 plus 2, 360, 76 plus 3, 360. They, they all terminate in the same spot. But I'm doing this because when I take this fourth root, there's, there's, there's going to be four possibilities in the 0 to 360 range that could work. So um, 81 to the 1 fourth power, that's just 3. And then notice uh, 1 fourth of 76. That's 19, and 1 fourth of, uh, of 360 is 90. So one of my possibilities is 3 cis 19 degrees. And then if I add 90 to that, it'd be 3 cis uh, 19 plus 90, 109. And if I add 90 to that, 3 cis 199. And then uh, if I add 90 to that, Whoops, <laughs> 3 cis 289. And if I add 90 to that, I'm going to be out of 360. I'll be back at that spot. So I have these four different possibilities for that root. 